Hi, this is just a quick instructional video on how to set up your unit and UBCD 396 XT digital scanner to monitor the Victorian CFA digital network. Uh, first of all, of course, we need to power the unit up. Now this particular one I'm using here has had all the original Uniden data removed from it uh, by going into the program system and removing the old ones, so I'm working with a clean slate. Uh, but the principle is pretty much exactly the same, doesn't matter what you've got already in there, you can certainly still get it up to run the Victorian CFA stuff. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, first of all, push the menu button, you'll get the menu screen come up on here. Uh, the default setting will be program system, this is perfect, it's what we need, so we push yes. OK, it's a new system. We push yes. Now, if you haven't already taken out the pre-installed factory data, uh, what you need to do is you need to use the rotary dial at the top here, the volume dial, and scroll down until new system becomes visible on the screen. Once you have done that, push yes. The Victorian CFA digital network is a P25 system. It's The default setting is P25 and it is already highlighted, so we select yes again. It's a standard trunking system, so again, leave it where the default setting is and push yes. It'll ask you to confirm your selection. Again, push yes. Takes a minute or so to process. The next thing we're going to do is go down to edit site. We push yes again. It's a new site. We push yes again. Processing. Uh, we now need to select a quick key for it. Uh, by selecting a quick key you can basically add a, allocate a keypad number to the system so you can turn it on or off very easily with just a quick push similar to like you turn a bank off on an old conventional type scanner from years ago so to speak. Uh, so for this instance we're going to select quick key number one, push yes, it will default back to the previous menu. We need to scroll down a bit more to set frequencies, we push yes select new frequency okay for my particular area here it is 166.6125 I then push yes to confirm okay um, now if you already have the control channel for your area which is the one I've just ended up here that's what you need to put in don't get too hung up on putting hundreds of control channels in if it's not relevant to your area uh, to get it up and going, basically all you have to do now is simply push scan. Okay, now as you can see on the top of the screen here, there is a small bar graph that de represents that the... Here we go, it's working already straight away, there was no waiting at all. I'll turn the volume up a bit. And you can see by the screen here that the bar graph is receiving the control channel signal perfectly well. It's 5 out of 5. And the frequency that I did input in is 166.6125, which is displayed on the screen here. It also shows it's a P25 system. And just quickly there, we did have some voice for a moment ago, but depending on what sort of activity is going on at the moment, it might be another anywhere between five minutes to an hour before we hear something else so it's just a basically a waiting game at this point here but you can see there how easy it is to actually enter in the control channel and get your scanner up and going pretty quick smart um, I suggest if you have any questions or anything else you'd like to know just send us an email I will put that up in a second and you can go from there Any other questions or any other relevant videos you'd like to see, just uh, again send us an email and I'll endeavour to make one for us and get you up and going with anything else you need to know. Cheers, thanks for watching.